Being rich is the ultimate dream for most people. Having a significant amount of wealth to drive whatever car they want, travel to any part of the world, or even become your own boss is an opportunity a lot of people want. But did you know that there are types of people who will never reach this point in their lives? Today in this video, we will show you the 5 types of people who will never be rich. If you want to know if you belong to these 5 types of people, stay with us until the end of this video and we will show you what you can do to turn this around. You've arrived at the right place. Welcome to Cash King's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you some tips and tricks for making money online. Please subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. As a result, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Please share this video and leave a comment below. Let's return to the video now. Becoming rich isn't easy. This is proven by the small number of people who actually belong to the wealthiest. To become rich, certain things are expected of us. There's a certain lifestyle we need to live, a certain mindset, and certain associations. People who constantly fail in their pursuit of financial freedom fail because they don't understand the principles most rich people practice. Hence, they do the wrong things repeatedly and never succeed. Now, we will show you these five types of people who will never be rich. Number 1. People Scared of Failures what many people do not realize is the fact that failure is an outcome, not the ending. When people have this mindset, they tend to stick to their comfort zones and never try out new things. According to Winston Churchill, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. People who remain poor see failure as an excuse not to try new things, even if they know that in the end, it will lead to financial success. They will say it is too risky or they don't have the skills to do it. But in reality, they are just too scared to fail. The richest people think otherwise. You will notice that these people laughed at the face of failure and pursued their ideas. One great example of this is Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world today. In his 20s, he started working in tech giants and held many high-ranking positions in these companies and even earned hundreds of thousands of dollars. But despite this, he always felt that he needed to do something more. So he decided to take a risk by leaving a secure job and starting what we know today as Amazon. In fact, while poor people are afraid of failures, the rich see it as a part of the process towards becoming wealthy. Even J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series, said that it is impossible to live life without failing and living a cautious life is not living at all. So this fear of failure and making constant excuses not to try new things will surely leave you poor. So go ahead and try out that new project you've always wanted and live through that fear of failing. This could be the next step in achieving your financial success. Number 2. People who complain Complaining is a common behavior among those people who will never be rich. Complaining will never resolve an issue unless you act upon it. There is even scientific evidence that shows how complaining can be detrimental. In a study by Stanford University, they found that complaining shrinks your hippocampus. This is the area of your brain responsible for critical thinking and problem solving. And this gets worse every time you complain because your brain will rewire itself to fire more, leading you to become a routine complainer. So, if you want to become rich, complaining about everything will hinder your financial goals. Instead of complaining, you can start practicing gratitude for every single thing that you have in a moment and what you are about to receive. Even some of the wealthiest practice this habit. Oprah Winfrey, for example, keeps a journal for 10 years and never misses an entry of how grateful she is for everything she has. Tony Robbins, on the other hand, practices a regimented gratitude protocol every morning. As you can see, these kinds of people don't waste a single hour complaining, but instead focus on finding ways to make themselves rich. You can practice this habit too so that you can get out of being poor. Number 3. People who stop learning Unless you win a lottery today, you can skip all of these steps and proceed being rich. But if you want, then becoming rich will require constant knowledge. This makes the saying, the more you learn, the more you earn, true. 
Unfortunately for most people, a high school or college diploma means the end of learning for them because their main goal for finishing school is to find a job and not for the love of learning in itself. People who have this mindset will have the excitement of receiving their paycheck after a two-week workload and after that they spend their time thinking when the next paycheck will come. This is proven true by a Gallup poll that shows 71% of millennials are disengaged at work, meaning a whole lot of workers count down the minutes until the end of the workday. These kinds of people will never be rich because they are too lazy to learn, and they don't see the need to discover new things or skills. They only accept information and instructions given to them by others. Jim Rohn, an American entrepreneur, said that your level of success will seldom exceed your level of personal development. This means that if you stop learning, you can't have the leverage needed to succeed. This leverage then may bring new ideas or concepts that will make you rich in the process. One great example for someone who learns continuously to succeed is Canadian entrepreneur and multimillionaire Don Locke. Even as a successful and wealthy person, he invests more than $5,000 every year into his education in the form of courses, coaching, and other learning opportunities. Investing yourself in continuous learning is a great way to reach your financial goals because these kinds of investments will come back tenfold. Number 4. People who avoid accountability People who will never be rich don't learn to take responsibility for their actions and blame someone else for the consequences of their actions. In school, these are the kids who don't make an effort to study for a test and when they receive a failing grade, they blame the teachers for it. These same people are those who try to start a business but when they can't make any sales, they blame the economy or government for it. Here's the thing. When you want something, you have to be ready to go and get it yourself. Take responsibility for your actions and don't blame someone else when you cannot achieve the financial goals you've set. Accepting your mistakes and learning from them is the first and most important step in succeeding in your goals financially. Number 5. People who easily quit Perseverance is something the wealthiest people practice. They know that they have to keep going despite the challenges and hardships along the way. Also, the delay in achieving the success they desire is what keeps them going when they don't get the expected results they have imagined. In short, what makes people poor is quitting too easily when they see difficulties and hardships or when they don't achieve the results they want. This is best explained in the book The Dip by Seth Godin. He said that if you take on a new project, there will be a period of stagnant growth. This is a period between starting and mastery. So whenever you reach this dip, keep going and stay engaged. Now, people who will never be rich take the dip as an end of something. They lack the persistence and patience to see something wonderful happen at the end of the struggle. These people are masters of giving up and giving up is a permanent failure for them. So if you want to be rich, get rid of these five habits. And if you see that you possess one of them, don't worry because you can unlearn them by accepting failures, avoid complaining, learn continuously, take responsibility for your actions, and finally by persevering. You will see that you will reach the financial goals you want in the process. That concludes today's video. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to Cash Kings, and click the notification bell. As always, please leave any concerns or questions in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next video.